I'm going to practice decision making for American style mahjong using national mahjong league rules. For this exercise, I want to test my decision making through the Charleston by doing something that I call chain reaction. I'm going to go through the Charleston once with one plan and then see if there's another plan that might be better and compare results. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. And they've been mixed. We'll just say we're the dealer for this exercise, and I will take 14 random tiles. I'm going to take a bunch of tiles here and take a peek through these and get rid of any jokers because you do not want any jokers in your mock Charleston for this exercise. So just take a bunch of tiles, remove those jokers, and then we'll create a mock Charleston after we mix these up. And that way, whatever we get in the Charleston will be sort of spontaneous. Okay, so here's a bunch of tiles. We'll mix these up. And I'll create a mock Charleston from those. Knowing that there are no jokers. Okay, there we go. So there's our mock Charleston. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. Okay, this will be interesting because we have no uh, jokers at all. And that happens all the time. So don't despair when that happens. We've got two sets of multiples. We have a pair of six cracks and a pung of five bams. So I'm thinking we should play either like numbers with fives or something consecutive. Oh, look, we have a pair of twos also right here. So these are the multiples, either five, six, seven, or two, three, four, five. Either way, we can keep them all. Even though the twos don't really fit, let's keep them and see what happens. And we can, we can easily discard these three. But before we go through the Charleston, I want to take a photo of these tiles because we're going to recreate okay, this. Okay, I took a photo of these tiles. We can go ahead and pass these. And this is our first pass. Now I want to take a photo of that. Okay, so let's put them in order. Here's a six, seven, eight. We got a five. So we have five, six, seven, eight. These twos don't really work. I'm thinking four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. So I think we need to break up the twos. Sometimes the multiples don't go together and you want to leverage the most of your multiples. In this case, the five, six is better, I think, than maybe can maybe uh, evens with two, six, because we have no fours. At least we have five, six, and there are a number of hands we could play, play with fives and sixes. So let's break these up and pass these three. All right, here we have a nine and an eight and a flower. So let's hold the flower. So here we have two flowers now. That's a new multiple. Anytime you get a new multiple, reassess. So we have here a pair of flowers, a pung of five, crack, uh, five bams, then we have a pair of six cracks. I'm still thinking something consecutive or like numbers with fives is a possibility. We could still do, let's see, what about lucky or the addition hand? Five, seven, 
here's a seven we could play five seven but we have gap of course we have no one two we would need one two dot for the mixed suit option so i think i would want to keep the five because if we switch to like numbers we we want to give ourselves options here let's give up on let's give up on the nine bam we could take a picture of that okay we have a pair of eights now and here's a one so at this point we have the beginnings of addition five seven one so maybe the fives will come in here's flowers we need a two dot and more seven cracks yeah i think i would rather let's see here i think i would rather play five six or four five six seven with fours and use these as joker bait i think i would rather give up on the addition and break up the eight give up one of the fives let's see here let's give up this five dot because there is the five six five six concealed consecutive run hand this is kind of a hard one which is good this is why it's such good practice okay let's take a photo we got the five let's keep it and then we can pass these three I would not pass these three if anyone's playing the big year hand that would totally fit into their hand I would break that up let's break that up and at least not pass the eight bam because we could still play like numbers with fives here and use this as joker bait I don't like passing the white dragon because it's valuable let's pass these three I'm going to take a photo now so here we have an eight a two here's a four four five six if we had that green dragon we could have played four five six with the fives in the middle and the matching dragon and now we're back to passing year tiles and that's really risky i would not do that I think I'll give up this four, maybe pass these three. Okay, we'll take a photo of that. So we have an east we can get rid of. We don't need the three. We could use the five. Five, maybe if we get, can get a, a six band, this would be helpful. I'm thinking I would give up. Well, we don't have to give up the seven yet. We could pass this just fine. Let's pass those three for optional cross. No keepers at all. Okay. So I think what I would do five discards that was really really rough i think it's better to have four discards so it's not really bad we have a gap here though of no six bam i'm thinking the concealed pung hand under consecutive run or like numbers with fives i would throw this seven last in case four bams came in we could do four five six seven and use this as joker bait I guess this would be joker bait too i think we're better off going with the five six concealed pung hand and then discard this i would throw these away first though uh, because i like throwing away the year tiles first if i can so let's see if there was another option that is better so we had five discards with this particular set of choices i'm going to rebuild the hand oh. 
here's what we started with. Pair of sixes, seven, two, five, five. We could put these in order there. Okay. Let's see. Four, four, six in the middle. Okay. So that's the right number. This is what we started with. Let me fix the Charleston now. Okay, here's our Charleston. Let's see if something else would be better. Maybe let's try evens. Let's just keep all the evens. Here's the evens. So that would mean sacrificing a pung. But let's see if it would be better. Because we do have two pair as opposed to one pung. Actually, it would have been two pair or a pung and a pair, which I think is stronger. But let's go ahead and hold the evens. And because we have twos, let's go ahead and hold the three dot for maybe something consecutive. Two, three, four, five. See, I would still hold the fives because if I'm playing something consecutive with two, three, four, five, I would hold those fives. So let's just hold those and we could pass these. These are fine to pass. A little risky with the seven, nine. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got eights. So here's an eight dot and an eight crack. So now we we're gonna have to choose because now we have all like numbers. That's not gonna fly. So let's give up the three for sure. So we have two, eight, two, six, eight. We've got a big gap here of no fours at all. So I'm thinking we're gonna need to give something up because I'm not gonna pass like numbers. Let's give up a five bam so we can break up that pung. And let's give up the eight dot. This is not too bad of a pass actually. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got an eight bam. <laughs> we just traded an eight for an eight, but we did get a flower. Okay, now you, we've got to pick whatever we have the most of. Maybe we could play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Let's just hold that. We have to make a choice though. Here we have two tiles to pass, so we're gonna have to make a choice. So we have two flowers, two, eight, six, eight, and a two. I think because the pairs actually, you know, what we could do is give up the eight and hold the two and collect two, four, six, eight in cracks. And then the twos can be the pairs. Let's try that. And we can give up, let's, let's give up these three. Okay. We got an eight, a white. I don't like passing white dragons. Well, now we have a potential year come in here. Maybe even consecutive with one, two. Let's see. Maybe the year would be better or like numbers with twos. If we're going to hold the year, all we're missing here is a one bam to help out there. Let's do that. I'm going to break this up there. Let's pass those three. Let's see if we can play consecutive run with one, two or the year and pass these three. Okay. There's a one crack and a green dragon. That's not too helpful actually. And yeah, now we need to pass here. Let's pass these three. Okay, two, eight. There's a four, finally, with the four. You know what, now we have potential big year tiles here. I should have kept that green dragon, maybe. Let's pass one of each suit. Maybe we can get it back. Okay, no keepers there. 
since we're playing a year, let's keep the east, and we can pass these three for optional cross. Okay, we got a two <laughs> and an eight. Okay, so we've got three discards and lots of options. We do have all the twos. I think we do have a 2018 here. I'm thinking 2018 with Kongs of twos, which is the second hand down. We've got our pair of flowers. 2018 and then Kongs of Twos. So I would hold on to these for as long as possible, discard these first. And we have five discards, which is exactly the result of the first set of choices. So either direction, this would have had the same result, five discards. I think that the options might be better here and if we drew in jo uh, the dragons, we could maybe even play the big ear hand, the biggest hand on the card under singles and pairs. Let me know what you think about that exercise. That one really kept me on my toes, which is one reason why I really like doing this exercise. If you have a set at home, get it out and give it a try yourself. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston modeling for American style using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.